about like the strength based outlook and you were talking about how um, like pe children with disabilities or students with disabilities would often pinpoint their weaknesses rather than their strengths mm -hmm. and that they would have many more strengths that they was, they would say they have. How do you think like what in what ways can like teachers and OTs like um, incorporate opportunities in the classroom to like improve their ability to recognize their strengths. Some of it is like complimenting. I think we recognize, um, I know you specifically and me specifically, when someone compliments us, we're like, oh wow, you know, right? That's so special. Like, um, I'm so glad that they noticed that. Um, and so just like pointing those kind of things out, I think that is really helpful um, for students in helping them recognize and see that. I think there's also um, some different, like like this, um, the inventory that I had up here that they used in that study, there's different um, like evaluations and different things like that um, that you can help the student to see um, different ways and maybe like even talking through the different strengths and say, um, uh, you know, oh, this is a really wonderful strength that you have. Um, this is something that I see in you and your work. Um, or, you know, intentionally every week just telling them, oh, this week, this is what you did really well, right? Um, in the classroom or in your therapy session, wow, I was really impressed by how, um, how dedicated you are this week, or even though you were struggling, you stuck with it. Um, you know, those kind of things, just giving them reminders like, oh, even when you're struggling, um, there's still, you're, you still have strengths in those, um, in those struggling moments. We are